this tiny gear is going to make me some big money. Don't believe me? Well, it works like this. You just click it a bunch of times so you can get some money. And then once you have enough money, you come over here and buy some upgrades. So it turns on its own. Of course, it's not turning nearly fast enough. It's making a dime every second. We'll just click it a ton more times so we can increase that even more. And then once we upgrade it again, we're starting to make a third of a dollar every time. We're going to be here a while. And now we're up to 0.4. Just going to increase it one more time so we can get half a dollar every second. That's a good number to be at. And then if we look over here, here, there's a big old machine that the game wants us to connect to, but we need more money so we can buy more gears. So click away. And now we can get the gear and place it somewhat in line with the machine like this. And now they're both spinning. We are getting a dollar every second because there's two of them rotating at half a dollar a second. So the next time I get a turn speed upgrade, it goes up 0.2 every time. But turn speed is no longer the optimal upgrade. It is simple gears. And just to make sure that this is always lined up. Now we're just shy of getting $2 a second. Although that's only what this number says. We're actually getting $3 a second so that combined with the power of my clicks and that just made a noise so we can get the upgrade for money per turn but gears are going to be the better thing right now although to be fair our gears are a long way away from this machine here i don't even know what it does it's just got a little tube on it i would certainly like to get better money per turn so let's get this upgrade right now so now we're amassing six dollars per tick i don't really like ticks but that's okay because these ticks give me money and now the next upgrade unlocked where we can get better money per click let's go with the gear for now so now we're making seven and a half dollars every second but let's hopefully increase our turn speed to be amassing one tick per second okay now we can afford better money per click do i get that or better money per turn i'm doing a lot of clicking so let's get some click money up so now we're making 15 extra cents per click not sure that was worth it although it is very quick for us to get 300 now which is a decent start but it's nowhere near the million that i want so let's increase the turn speed and now by the game's calculations we're getting six dollars a second even though we're getting seven and a half every second although it is a good basis to go off of especially if i just get another gear so now we're making nine dollars a second and with that i can get my armor break from all the clicking just for a little bit though gotta get that money gotta get that fast money and then also see what things hopefully this machine gives us Ooh, now we can get better money up for the simple gears i still want to increase the turn speed just to get that evened out to one per second and then just get lost in the hypnotic turning of the gears round and round they go when they'll stop no one knows and now we're at to level 10 with the turn speed so now we're getting one tick per second and that increased the cost needed to a thousand monies. Wow. Game really doesn't want me to gain much higher than that. That's fine though. That's all I wanted to get to for that upgrade anyway. So now that we're getting one turn every second, we can increase the money per turn. And now we're getting $12 a second. My clicks seem kind of pointless right now. And I don't really want to get another upgrade for it if it's only 15 cents of an increase. No thanks. I'll just get another gear. And since I'm getting so many gears, I might as well get the simple gear money upgrade. So now we're getting $15.2 per second. Not sure what kind of an increase that was, but it doesn't seem like the one to go for. Instead, it's going to be the money per turn that gets me the extra dollars. And the only gear we can afford is still the simple gear. Oh, but now we can get the big gear if I just wait a little bit and get a thousand monies. There's another thing that showed up right down here. Another kooky machine. How far away are you? Yeah, you're pretty far away and I'm not even building towards you right now. I still want to see what this one does. Although the big gears should help with that quite a bit. Oh, wow. That jumped us up to $24 a second. So this gives $5 a second. I like it. So then the next upgrade over here is probably the big gear money up. So let's make sure we have a few big gears to help with that. Now we're making $29 a second, although they are getting expensive pretty quickly. So I think simple gears are the way to go. And it's really hard to tell how much progress I'm making because there's just a void between the machine and the gears. But now the simple gears cost a thousand. So let's get the simple gear money up again. And I guess since I can afford it all the time, click the money up. Now we're making an extra 30 cents per click. Wow. My clicks seem so helpful right now. Yeah, let's just get better money per turn. Wow. That's doing the numbers. Now, if we increase the turn speed again, we're actually getting more money per turn, so it's not an even one-to-one. -one. It's a one-to-two, and then maybe later we'll get a three-to-four, but now we'll get another gear. Now we're making almost $50 a second. Another gear, and it seems like we're getting closer. I think my gears aren't perfectly lined up, but what does not matter? As long as we connect it and get better money from all the simple gears that we have, then so we're getting $55 a second, and I don't really like that this upgrade is always available, so fine, I'll buy it. Now I'll buy it again before I even see what it does, and maybe one more time. So now that costs more than a thousand. How much money do I get per click? Ooh, two dollars now. I'm okay with this. Two dollars and a penny. Gotta count those pennies. And hey, I was right. The next upgrade to unlock is the big money up or the big gear money up, which currently gives us five per one of them. So if we upgrade again, we're getting quite a bit more. Not as much as I would hope for. I much would have rather bought another gear. Although our money is constantly over a thousand now, it seems like. So we should be able to do that in no time at all. Like so. Ooh, 64 per second. I like it. Now let's increase the turn speed a little more. And now we're making a nice 
amount no. of money. And then we buy another gear and increase the money per turn. We're getting close to 100 money per second, which is what I like to see. And I also like to see these simple gears giving me more money. And then we can increase the turn speed a little more. $98 a second. So with another simple gear money up, we are getting $100 a second. And now we can afford a big gear for better money numbers. And we're actually catching up to the cost of things kind of quickly. We can catch up to that even faster if we increase the turn speed. And we are once again at the point where my clicks mean absolutely nothing. So let's just increase the money per turn. $156 a second now. And then if we put a big gear lined up like this, we're approximately one screen size away from the device. So you can see the edge of it right there. And then right down here, it's right there. The rest of the gears, which is quite the line that's forming right now, I must say. Oh, we can also afford better money from the big gears. So we'll do that really quick. Now they're giving us a nice amount no. of production. And they're also responsible for 40% of production, which is interesting. And then if we increase the turn speed once more, we're getting one and a half rotations every second, which is allowing us to get the upgrades we want much sooner. I could actually wait just a few more seconds and then get another big gear. And now if I just go ahead and increase the money per turn and the money from the simple gears and then buy a simple gear, we're just about to the machine. But I would like to see better turn speeds. So now we're getting over a quarter of a thousand per second, which is good for me because that means I can buy these big gears a lot sooner. And check it out. We can see the gears that are turning and the device we're trying to connect to at the same time. It only took like 20 gears to get to this point. Not that I'm complaining. We're making good money out of it and we can get better money right there. Almost 300 a second. And if we increase money per turn, yes, that gets us above 300. 326 actually. That's what I like to see. And another simple gear for my troubles. I really wonder what this thing's gonna do. I feel like it's gonna be more passive income because that's how these idle games usually go. But for now, we'll get better money from the simple gears. And should I buy better click upgrades? I think I will just see what they get for me. So now our click money is level 10. Now that gets us $4 every click, which really doesn't matter when we're making 350 a second. Or maybe it does. You can see the number change artificially when I do this. You might be asking why I don't just turn on the auto clicker and I say you're asking too much. I'm just going to turn on the turn speed. And I think this is going to take too long if I keep buying the simple gears. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer and get a big gear, which is actually almost half of our production already. And if we increase the money gained from the big gears, that gets us roughly 48% of the total production. It's a little weird though that both these numbers well, don't add up to 100. Life. I guess my clicking makes up the extra percentage. But let's increase the money from the big gears again. There's half of the production. And then whatever that number is doing. And now that the money per turn is at level 10, we're at over $500 a second. That's very good because these gears are getting expensive. And it's too bad clicking in like this doesn't make the turns go up any faster. Doesn't matter though. Let's get our simple gear money leveled up a little bit. Hopefully we can get it to level 10 because level 9 just happened very quickly. And that level 10 is almost as much as a big gear money up upgrade. Really not sure what affects the inflation of these upgrades, but it doesn't matter too much because now we have level 10 and we are making $327 per turn. So now we can slap in another big gear. Oh, they're getting expensive, but the machine is right there. It's fine. We'll just buy the gears that we can because now we can actually see the target now and increase the turn speed a little more and then get another simple gear in. Let's think about this. The big gears are roughly that size and the small gears are about that size. So if I got, I'd say five or six big gears in, I can connect to it. And then it would take a lot more of the small gears to get to that point. So let's just get that started with one big gear and increase the money from the big gears because now we have 10 of them and increase the turn speed as well. That's level 19. And then get the turn speed to level 20. So now there's two ticks every second. And then we'll just increase the money from the big gears again and the money per turn. Oh, we're almost there. Next milestone of money per second. And I wonder if we upgrade the simple gear money up again. It did a fair amount of increase. At this level of income, it might be better actually to start getting some more simple gears because I can afford that one right now. And the next price is only 30,000, which I can afford right now. And every gear is also helping our income. And then one more simple gear. Aha, a thousand monies every second. And I think if we just get one more big gear, that should be enough to fill in the slot right here. It's just that now everything is so expensive to unlock, but that's okay. We just got to wait a few more seconds. And now the last gear can get slotted in place and be perfectly lined up with the machine. Aha! Now what is it doing? Extra money per turn. You'll receive yada yada per gear turn for 10 seconds. Oh, well then let's go ahead and do that. I don't think I can. I guess because this bar needs to fill. If I click, will it fill faster? I honestly have no idea, but let's just let this little bar fill up all the way to 100. Ooh, and now it's saying we receive $52 per gear turn for 10 seconds, but it can level up again. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I bet it fills up faster if we increase the turn 
turn speed as well. And I can just unlock the BFG. That of course stands for big hecking gear, which costs 100,000 monies. Oh my goodness. And then it's going to take just as long to build down to this machine. Goodness gracious. But now this bonus is level two. So now we're, we'd be getting 200 extra per gear turn. Let's just increase the turn speed some more. I want to see this get to level three and then I'll activate it. And every time it levels up, it seems that the cooldown increases as well. I see. Well, let's also increase the money per turn so we can get the most out of this bonus. So now bonus is level three. That's an extra pretty much 400 per gear turn. Let's go ahead and activate it. Oh yeah, I'm kicked into overdrive. 2,000 monies every second. Ooh, I like it. And that was a really quick 10 seconds. It's back down to normal numbers, but now we can afford the BFG. I don't even know what kind of numbers this could do, but that is a massive gear indeed. I'll go ahead and point that straight down. Oh yeah, that really boosted production. That alone is responsible for $90 a second. Also, just look at how fast the small gear is turning. It is ridiculously quick. It's doing that weird reverse spin effect thing. I don't even know what it's called, but that's what it's doing. So why don't we go ahead and activate this again already because the cooldown will be quicker. I'm not even sure if it really is going, but it looks like it is. That's going into overdrive and the money increases almost 2,000 a second. So just a little more waiting and we can get a second BFG. Second BFG acquired. Let's line it up with the machine down here. And now we're getting one and a half thousand every second. Just those two gears alone are responsible for over 10% of production. That's kind of crazy to think about. It's also kind of crazy to think about how expensive they're getting. My goodness. Maybe I should see what I can do by increasing the money clicks. So that's level 17, which gets us $10 a second. Okay, that's not too bad. I don't know why I said $10 a second either. It's $10 a click. But now I really want to get this to level 20 and see what kind of thing that does. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long. Level 20 and that gets us $16 a second. Although that's really not giving me the boost that I'm looking for. That's what this machine is for. Thinking if I activate this once it's level three, I can afford that BFG once the timer runs out. Although that might've been a long shot. This is already not looking good for that. Even with my extra clicks, it doesn't really help much. I can't afford a big gear right now though. And there's the BFG money upgrade, which is only 6,000 cheaper than another gear. My goodness. Well, let's just go ahead and increase money per turn and again, and then get in more of these big gears so we can bridge the gap a lot quicker and then increase how much money those big gears make. I'm really not sure what sort of machine would have such a long chain of gears like this and then have two giant ones around the main tiny one but it doesn't really seem to matter because each of these gears spin at the same rate it seems like so the big gear gets more money once again and so do the tiny gears now the big gear money is at level 10 to get just just shy of 2000 per second that's okay that's what the simple gears are for 2000 monies every second and then we increase the bonus and now we're getting 3000 a second oh yes i love to see it and then doing every little bit that I can with these $16 per click. Although all of those increases really isn't helping me get to this other device here. And it'd be quicker just to get a bunch of these small gears to try and bridge that gap. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try it though. And these simple gears are the more cost effective route now because they're just overall cheaper. And the level two bonus every now and then is a very nice addition. And this big gear really likes to spin on its own. And then it resets. At least I'll buy simple gears until they're close enough in price to the big gears. Because then it's just a little more waiting and then I can buy a big gear. And what's interesting too is that a level one bonus will give me an extra 100 per gear turn boost now instead of the 90 some whatever it was before. So if I just wait for it to get to level two, it's already at 400. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to see it get to level three now. Thankfully, just a little more waiting and I can do that. And go for an extra 700 on top of everything else. And let's increase the money per turn really quickly. Yes, $4,000 per second with that. It's getting to the point now where the simple gears are almost responsible for $1,000 of production. And look at that. Now they are. Good job, Simple Gears. Proud of you. Doing so good, I think it'll give you a money up increase. Oh, and how about that? These other gears were starting to cost so much that I can actually afford a BFG in their place, which is a good thing for me. Now this device is starting to get in range of all the gears. Good. And now a level three increase from here gives almost an extra thousand. But an extra 800 is pretty good too. I wonder actually how high the level bonus can get to. I think I'll worry about that later though. Now I just want to see an extra thousand get added on top of everything. Yes, $5,000 a second. And that gets us in range of another BFG. Just a little more waiting. And that's what these idle games are really good at doing, making you wait. Oh, that's so close. Might as well just start clicking on this one so I can see some sort of quicker increase. I'm thinking I can get one more BFG in here and then focus on just the big gears because I think this one's gonna cost a million next go around. In any case, the level three bonus right here is looking really good right now. So I'll just let that go for a little bit. Maybe click to give it a bit of assistance. And now it's a lot less waiting for the next BFG, which we can slap in right there. Oh, another one would bridge that gap but as i thought that one costs a million my goodness and it seems like the extra gears are really making the bonus charge up faster
faster. Very interesting. Now, all we would need to reach this is two more of the big gears. Let's get one in. And that is definitely making a charge up faster. So all it should take now is another level three boost like this, giving us $5,000 a second. And just a little more waiting, especially since a simple gear definitely won't reach. And that would just be annoying. That's okay, because we don't need to do that. And bammo, other machine connected. Yes, and now we can complete the demo just like that. So it looks like this other bonus would increase the extra ticks per second. And then we can activate both of them for just a lot more money. But we were able to get up to $3,000 a second just by doing, you know, normal things. So that'll do it for the demo of idling gears. If you guys enjoyed the video, then you can add the game to your wish list on Steam. And thank you very much for watching. Sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Dakota C, Donamoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, and Peggy Sue.